51 starters came up to the line off the Isle of Wight for this year's powerboat race from Cowes to Torquay. Since it was first held in 1961, the event has grown considerably in size and repute. Today it's the International Grand Prix of powerboat racing. Three thirty, one of the British entries, Thunderfish. Conditions were the toughest since the first race of all. The overseas contingent came from America, Sweden, France, Italy and Germany. 19 trophies and cash prizes to be won, including a thousand pounds for the winner. One of our cameramen flew in a helicopter to give us these vivid pictures. Speeds of up to 50 miles an hour for nearly 200 spray-soaking, buffeting miles. Tramontana the second, successor to Tramontana one, the winner four years ago. This is Broad Jumper, one of the Americans. The most exciting duel of the race was between America's Dick Bertram in Brave Moppy, 177, and the British entry, Sir Fury, raced by Charles and Richard Gardner. After being beaten by the Gardners last year, the American was out for revenge. They were racing neck and neck when Sir Fury's engines started making ominous noises. They stopped to adjust a tappet and set off again, but America's Thunderbird 283 had passed them to challenge Brave Moppy on the last few miles to Torquay. And it's all eyes on that small speck herring towards the harbour. It's Dick Bertram in Brave Moppy holding off Thunderbird and the Gardner brothers in Sir Fury to become the first American to win the race. In spite of more stops to tighten that wayward tappet, the gardeners held on to third place behind Merrick Lewis in Thunderbird. Incidentally, Lewis had the former airspeed record holder, Peter Twist, as navigator. Dick Bertram, the first American, and Brave Moppy, the first diesel-powered boat to win the race.